Okay, um, hello guys. Today, um, I just want to talk about something that's been on my mind. Um, it's the concept of relativism. So, unlike my previous video, I'm going to go and talk about um, the backstory behind this video. Um, I was actually having a conversation with a friend a while back. More like an argument, but a conversation. Okay, so um, we we're talking about how that someone would just come up and create a seven page document font size 16 and market it as an ebook not just as an ebook now but market it like we're supposed to purchase it as a book right so it's very very disturbing very disturbing so on the part of society we have this um, new trend of relativism where um, how I think of it is how it's supposed to be right so if I create a seven page document with font size 16, 4,000 words, I can market it as a book book. When people actually market books with 40,000 words, 50,000 words, that's the general convention of what's supposed to be a book. And the justification for this um, relativism is, um, you know, it's what I think. I have the, the leeway to make my own choices. But think about it. Um, if Toyota today decides, oh, um, um, car safety to us is the tire of your car removing when you're moving at 60 kilometers per hour. I don't think you'll be very happy <laughs> if Toyota decides to have a relativist um, approach towards the security of your life when you're driving their cars. So at some point, we're going to have to draw the line and say, okay, there are standards that I have to follow in as much as I want to be my own person and do my own thing the way I like it. There still has to be that place of following um, traditions that have been the spirit of tradition now, not the body of it, which dies over time. If you've read um, uh, Jordan Peterson's Maps of Meaning, you get to understand that most of the um, cultural norms we created was so that we would, have, we would be able to live in a world without thinking too much about what the world is supposed to bring to us. We already, we already have that notion that whatever is going on in the world is most likely happening for our own good right so your neighbor doesn't wake up and say to me greeting is stabbing someone with a knife there is the um standard notion of what greeting should be cordial and all that so that's on the side of society now i'm going to take it to um a personal side or oh, talking about intra psychic relativism right so in psychology well, I, I don't know whether this is like psychology, psychology, but I know there are papers which have talked about this, that every individual has um, three selves. The actual self, who you are right now, the odd self, O-U-G-H-T, the odd self, who people think you should be, and the ideal self, that's who you know that if you become, you'll be moving forward towards a better goal, right? So, when you set a goal in your life, um, and by the way, this concept is something I discuss in my book, which is going to be coming out on the 26th of November, right? So, it's a lie you tell yourself that even if I don't complete this goal, it doesn't really matter to anyone because it's my goal, right? And it only matters to me whether I do it or not. But when you talk about um, these three selves that we just talked about now, the odd self, who people think you should be, the actual self, who you really are right now, and the ideal self, right? So when you set a goal, which is tending towards your ideal self, and you just throw it away saying, you know, it's just whatever, I set it, I can discard it. What you're actually doing is that you are disappointing yourself, your actual self, who you are right now, because your actual self is already looking forward to becoming more towards your ideal self, right? You know, when someone else disappoints you, you're able to shrug it off because, okay, they made their decisions. It wasn't within your power. But when you disappoint yourself, it goes really deep and it begins to do bad things to you, especially when you look back, maybe in a future time when you say, okay, I should have been here if I had followed through with this. Because I'm having things like depression, self-doubt, suicidal thoughts and all that. So at some point, you're going to have to look inward and say, okay, if I've decided that I want to do this, I should follow it through and become a better person, right? So the standard now is not what people are saying, but the standard is who you know you can be if you step up 
and hold the grip of your life right so it's very important to not just be um wishy-washy and say okay whatever i want to do goes uh this is how i am i think that concept is actually very very self-centered right so if everyone believes that a marathon is 26 uh, kilometers and to you a marathon is 2.6 kilometers and you want us to believe that what you're saying is what you believe should be imposed on seven billion other people that's like the height <laughs> of self-centeredness right so we have to come to that place where okay in as much as we want to be um free to make our own choices we have to look at and say okay what would it what would a right thinking person do because um what would be a good choice to make in this situation which will move me forward right and not mislead others or myself i think that's a very good way to look at it as opposed to just um absolute relativism there's going to be a place of moderating to your context right to what applies to your life but also lining it up with what already exists what people understand to be the norm so if i'm going to write a book going back to what started this argue, this um conversation now so you could put it that if i'm going to write a book I'm going to call it a book. If I'm not writing a book and it's 4,000 words and I want to put the font size 16, there's nothing wrong with that. But I should just let people know that what I'm creating is a long form article or a guide, you know. So there is that um, freedom or peace that comes when you know that you're speaking your truth and the truth that others can understand too. Because setting standards is how humans have been able to communicate over the last 200 300 million years of you know scientific stuff um of development as a as a civilization right because we have created what should be so when you see another human being coming on the road you don't expect that they'll just come and stab you as the regular greeting you expect a cordial hi hello so um, we have to come to a place where we bring all our freedoms under the spirit of the standards not the body right so you can come up with new ways but also communicate that what you're doing is a new way and not mislead others because we have um, standards which we use to interact to make the world move forward same thing with yourself you have your mindset and how you grew up you can restructure your mind or at least tell yourself the truth when you're trying to set a goal or do something different in your life um, I hope I've been able to um, just um, shed more light on why absolute relativism is not really the best way to be because it creates so much confusion and the unknown is a place of constant anxiety thank you right oh my god <laughs> um supposed to be abraham audu i'm abraham audu ceo of Pareva energy systems creator of the Pareva solar engineering course and adi blueprint for solar engineers all right i just thought to share um something that has this concept that has been on my mind and something i've seen constantly going on especially in today's world where everyone just to just wants to go out there and do stuff even when they don't want to put in the effort to actually do stuff all right thank you